Hello, RPS community. So we'll start with some updates and then move forward into some shout outs from some of the great things happening in our district. So as you may know, November was uh, Native American Heritage Month. Uh, so we've recognized and celebrated the various traditions, culture, and history of many of our Native American communities in various ways across uh, our district this month. I'd like to turn it over to a group of seniors from our Diverse Voices class to spare, uh, share a special tribute uh, in honor of Native American Heritage Month. We are seniors at Reading Memorial High School and students in Miss Richardson's Diverse Voices class. I'm Lily. I'm Mahag. I'm Evie. I'm Sabrina. I'm Carly. And I'm Val. In honor of Native American Heritage Month, we would like to read a poem by the first Native Poet Laureate, Joy Harjo, of the Muscogee Creek Nation from her book, An American Sunrise. Joy Harjo is the author of nine poetry books, many of which have received notable awards and recognition. Harjo is also a performer and specializes in the saxophone and flute. She was recently inducted into the National Native American Hall of Fame and National Women's Hall of Fame as a result of her monumental dedication to furthering the liberties of both indigenous people and women. An American Sunrise is a book of poems about Harjo revisiting her homeland after her ancestors were taken from their land as a result of the Indian Removal Act. She talks about equality and the struggles Native Americans have fought and continue to fight for. Her poems show themes of strength, nature, love, and appreciation. Harjo also includes translations of the poems in her native language, providing background on Native Americans. Here is the poem Road by Joy Harjo. We stand first in our minds, and then we toddle, from hand to furniture. Soon we are walking away from the house and lands of our ancestral creator gods to the circles of friends, of schooling, of work, making families and worlds of our own. We make our way through storm and sun. We walk side by side against each other. The last road will be taken alone. There might be crowds calling for blood or a curtain window by the leaving bed. It is best to not be afraid. Lift your attention for the appearance of the next road. It might be through a family of trees, a desert, or on rolling waves of sea. It is the ancient road the soul knows. We always remember it when we see it. It beckons at birth, it carries us home. In consideration of Joy Harjo and her inspirational poems, we'd like to take a minute to educate the community about land acknowledgements. A land acknowledgement is acknowledging the traditional caretakers of the land, as well as the contributions and continuation of the first people. Here is our land acknowledgement. We would like to acknowledge the enduring relationships between indigenous communities and the traditional territories that the Reading Schools exist on. We appreciate and recognize the past, present, and future of the Massachusetts, Pawtucket, Nipmunk, and Poconocet First Nations homelands. We recognize that the land we inhabit begins and ends with Indigenous people. We pledge to strengthen our understanding of Indigenous people and work to create a more inclusive environment. As we take time to honor our First Nations people, keep in mind that Indigenous people are still here and are our friends, neighbors, teachers, and classmates. Let this be a step in educating ourselves on Indigenous people and their cultures, correcting the wrongs of the past, and honoring the importance that they hold in our community today. So a huge thank you to those RMHS seniors, uh, Val, Carly, Lily, Evie, Mehek, Sabrina, uh, for their leadership in putting this together. We'd also like to make the community aware of an upcoming opportunity, uh, which is Parent and Guardian Math Night. So you'll see the flyer here, uh, which is come and hear about our new K-6 to math curriculum tool, shifts you may see in math routines, and opportunities to support your child. Uh, this will be a virtual event held on November 29th from 7 to 8 p.m. So we look forward to having as many families participate as possible to hear about our new math curriculum uh, and tools. Also, as a, another update, as you may know, the Reading Education Foundation, REF, uh, is about to embark on an exciting event, the Festival of the Trees. So you'll see the flyer here on December 4th and December 5th. On the 4th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on the 5th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, they'll be hosting this event, which is a, a annual favorite of so many of our families and students. We hope to see all of you there. It's a great fun, fundraiser and a great opportunity for fun uh, and community building. And as our last update, we'd just like to make the community aware of our upcoming Thanksgiving football game. As we know, this is the highlight of the year for, for our community, the annual rivalry against Stoneham. So wanted to wish the best of luck to our RMHS football team, our marching band and our cheerleaders uh, on next Thursday at 10.15 a.m. at Stoneham High School. Let's go Rockets. So shifting into shout outs, we'd like to start with a shout out to one of our eighth grade students, Coolidge Middle School student, Elijah Brown. Elijah Brown has been selected as our representative for Project 351. And I'm gonna read a little bit about what that means and his role as our ambassador from Reading. 
Every year, the town of Reading has the opportunity to send one eighth grader uh, to be a part of the state's Project 351 program. Project 351 brings together eighth grade students from each of the 351 towns and cities across Massachusetts in the spirit of diversity, leadership, service, and values. And over the course of the year, the students are supported to develop their leadership and service initiatives through conferences, Zoom meetings, and connecting with other students across the Commonwealth. They also bring service back to each of the communities through a service project. And each year, Coolidge and Parker take turns on selecting a student representative. So you'll see here a picture of our ambassador. That's Elijah Brown, a picture of myself and Dr. Hardy. I'm going to read a little bit about Elijah uh, through the uh, Coolidge Middle School principal, uh, Ms. Marchant. It says, we are excited to announce that Coolidge 8th grader Elijah Brown will be this year's Reading Ambassador for the Project 351 program. With the full support of his teacher, Eli was nominated for the many values he has that we hold so important at Coolidge and in Reading, including kindness, humility, leadership, and service. Eli will participate in Project 351 kickoff day on January 15th at the State House, where he will participate in activities and hear from speakers, including Governor Baker. Um, in this spring, he will lead a Cradles to Crayon project. Uh, it's a community service project, uh, one that I hope we can all rally to support him. That's from Principal Marchant. So please join me in offering a huge congratulations to Eli, uh, and what a great role model for all of our students across the community. would also like to make note that last week was School Psychologist Week. Uh, we know that we have so many amazing school psychologists across our district and appreciate all they do to support our students. Uh, a special shout out to um, Flory Johnson, Ashley Dennis, Alice Gomez, Lenny Moss, Emma Conroy, Christine Crocker, Kim Bertazzani, Ann Ozanian, Rachel Herman, Laura Vance, Allison Sarno, and Troy Carr. So if you see any of our school psychologists around, please be sure to give them a big thank you for all that they do for our community. We'd like to close with a shout out to some of the students in Ms. Daly's RMHS digital photography class. Our central office team has really enjoyed seeing some of the wonderful photography in the classroom, uh, in the hallways, and also electronically. So we're going to leave you with some of the photos uh, that have been taken from students in this class. First photo from Lily Z, from Jackie B, Ava H, Nora F, Jackie C, Olivia L, Ava V, Miguel M, McKenna V, Jacob G, McKenna V, and Mia K. So congratulations and well done to all of those wonderful photos that were just uh, shared through the video. We hope everyone had a great week. We hope you have a great weekend. We look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Go Rockets!